Hey, buddy. What happened to all your PayPal money? What? Bitcoin? What do you know about Bitcoin? Yeah, no, I know, I know what blockchain is. Where'd you hear about Bitcoin? Watch Nick's video. You bought on the dip. All right, it's your money. If you lose it, you lose it, I guess. Keep playing it. It's gonna rock your brain. In your case, I guess that's already happened. Keep playing. Hello again. <laughs> Sorry about the hiatus. Oh, I a told you about that Mexican there, huh? prison problem we'd have if we went to Mexico. Hi, Who's everybody. Oh, that's uh, Brian Peets. Mm. out of California. Mm. Hi, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do we got this time? So this is a full box of modern books. We have 25 books here. And uh, we'll have to have a couple of stories behind this because obviously prices have changed. And the funny part of this is when I sent this box of books <laughs> in back in January, I think it was worth half as much with the current market trends where they're going. This is more like an express yeah, tier like submission. Every day you saw a percentage <laughs> going up. You're, like, you're hoping yeah. for it to knock it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we've been away for a little while here, kind of busy uh, swimming in comics. And myself personally, uh, working on the website. Of course, I have the website sellingcomics.com. And uh, yeah, that's going to appear right there magically. So uh, just uh, uh, we'll mention this a few times, but these books will be on my comic site for sale, sellingcomics.com. So if you're interested, go check it out. Hopefully we get it up and the video is going to be up in, you know, a few days from this. That's this right. is, uh, what is this? We're uh, April 7th, I think. Six, April, April, April 6th, 6th, close enough. So put down the plate of Gino's pizza rolls and buy some comics. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been pretty busy myself, you know, submission, we have a bunch of submissions coming back. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll do more nice. unboxings. That's the thing, so, once the pipeline's full, you yeah. don't notice the lag. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there, there are some interesting boxes coming up. Um, not your typical uh, Peach Momoka Del Auto variant unboxings by mm -hmm. any means. So um, it should be some fun stuff. This one's awesome. Yeah, this is just a modern submission. So yeah, I'm sure these books are pretty uh, uncommon now. Uh, I haven't seen many unboxings like this in the recent months, but we will proceed. Uh, let me take that top board there so I can, there we go, and put it back on there. There we go. Put this your card. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're going to start off with the letter S. Actually, what we've done through this pandemic and something that we used to do more is more mm -hmm. hunting at stores mm -hmm. more than ever. And um, you really kind of had to go in there and really go through boxes maybe that yeah. we wouldn't have before. But I know I have and I know Mike's been finding tons of good stuff at local shops. So. Yeah, I mean, I... I... <laughs> It's a, uh, what do you call that, um, embarrassment of wealth, mm -hmm. or riches. Mm -hmm. uh, I just had so many books to buy and, and purchase that I had no time to really submit books. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been just buried in, in purchasing and just the deals out there are just phenomenal. So um, we'll have a lot of unboxings in the coming weeks and you'll see the fruits of my labor. Yeah, books online right now are crazy. Yeah, I don't buy many books online. You look right at now. the auctions, you look at uh, even eBay, it's just nuts. Yeah. Uh, this this actually the preview looks really good. Yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was so, going to be kind of hokey, but She Hulk number one looks like it might be pretty decent. Uh, I actually have uh, four of these in the box. I'm going to just kind of randomly put these. Start. Yeah, I don't that know one, which one is which. That one's nicer because I yeah. just centering. I know it doesn't count, but these these have a, a common flaw. Like right here, there's a printer's yep. crease right across this lower part. Um, this one has one, and I think that one might have one too. Yep. So. Uh, two of these I called nine O's. Two of them I called nine nine fours. I think. Yeah, I called both of these nine O's. We'll, we'll see what we got. So it's pretty nice. It's four. It's this four. This is a nine two. Uh, I got better than nine two. One, Ready? two, three. Yeah. Oh, nine sixes. Oh, wow. White pages. Okay, nice. that's, a bit better. that's a way to start off. There you go. But it cut the. And we'll come back. We got we got two more of those buried in the box here somewhere. So let's go right on two. A perennial, everyone's favorite. classic. I don't know. You know what's weird though about this book? 
This oh, would another be Secret in, Wars in number number eight. Amazing Spider-Man two fifty two. These books are always people wanted them, mm -hmm. but they weren't nuts like they are yeah. now. Now people are acting like this is yeah the first appearance. You know, it's an amazing it's, 300. It, we're, we're at a juncture right now where a lot of collectors, th this is their golden age. This is their silver yeah. age. You know, you, when this book came out in 1984, you know, that was uh, 36 years ago. Or no. Uh, so 92, you think? I think no, after 36 years ago, 37 years. It's it's their silver age, you know, so Pretty people cool in their 30s are buying it. Um, this I call the 92. Survey says. <laughs> nice. <Nine two. laughs> crushing. So yeah, I mean, people would look at that book. It's like I saw that book when I was three, four, five years old. They want to go buy yeah. it, and they'll yeah. pay up for the book. So yeah. for us, you know, we were like, yeah, I bought a whole bunch off the rack back in the day. <laughs> oh, my spectacles! <laughs> no, all you're, the books you're, in the world, you're, you're, and now I can't read. Your opera glasses. Yeah, it's like in the uh, show we were just talking about Twilight, Twilight Zone. Zone episode. Okay, so. You hold that one. I'll hold this. This is top. the pink gun that I was like. This is about. the bubble gum. I guarantee the bubble he shoots gun. bubbles out of there. <laughs> and this is the Robbie Knievel flying <laughs> off the back of the Evil Knievel stunt cycle. Uh, not that Evil cared about his son's Total safety. Total child endangerment. But just complete just, child endangerment. Go ahead, boy, stand up. What's it called? The shag van? What did he call that thing? The shag and wagon? <laughs> no, what was the van called? The scramble van. The scramble van. The scramble van. What is this cane called? That was his, uh, oh yeah, he had a name for his oh, little, yeah. his little uh, walking cane. So if you know what Evil Knievel called his little walking stick, put it down below. So, yeah. He had like this little big, oh, yeah, little, he had a big jewel on the top yeah. of it. Yeah. I know. That's what he called it. Um, yeah, this one's a 9-2. Maybe they're mixed nice. up. But, uh, I, I had two of these too, didn't I? Yes, you had yeah. two of them. Yeah, not these though. Not these. But not yeah. These droids, not these droids. <laughs> so, 9-2 and a 9-0. Oh, and we have a... Boom! Sh Pair of nine fours. Wow. So a little green bump right there. This one has nicer color. They're both white pages. Yeah, so I, well, a little bit nicer flip, color. Flip the book over. What, what did I, I estimated? So when I sent these in, I was looking around 150, 200 bucks. These are worth, what, 5,000, 10,000 a piece now, whatever. I mean, the prices <laughs> are just silly on these ones. Racket raccoon. Yeah, not spelled properly. Oh. Two, seven. You know, I haven't looked at prices, but his one. first appearance in the magazine is it still way ahead of this book or no? Um, yesterday it probably was. Probably changed today. That's such terrible artwork. <laughs> Al Milgram sucks. Sorry, anyone that likes Al Milgram, but that's terrible. <laughs> so nine two. Yep, I'm calling it a nine two. It's pretty solid. You might get a nine four out of this one. Let's hope so. Nine six. You're both wrong. Look at this. You just you're both using wrong. up all my zingo energy. That's good. It's, it's no, been it's been pent now up. My shipment's coming back in a couple weeks. And I'm gonna we, be we've had some trash. We've had some pent up zingo oh, energy. That's a nice Woo! one. There. And that's, that's a purdy one. It's purdy. Here, hold got, on to that got guy. A purdy mouth. It's a uh, newsstand too, which seems. Uh, you can have a little bit more distance on some books, mostly modern, more modern books. If it's if it's not a newsstand, even if it's a nine eight, the price can be hugely different. Yeah. Uh, they both look immaculate. Yeah. So do. this copy, I'm pretty sure, because little this has a little small wear. Nick would corner. have an appreciation. This one's really nicely centered. So top to bottom. That copy was a resubmit. That one in the last modern unboxing, I got a nine six. I disagree with their grade. That was a stone cold nine eight. Um, this one, this copy here, um, I bought this off of the wall, the comic shop we were just talking about. Oh yeah. I walked in one day and he had it on the wall and I think it was 20 bucks. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to buy this book. But I this call it flawless. I call this one a nine two. That one was a CGC nine six. So this is a CPR. Yeah. It's a CPR book. This is just a stone cold straight nine two off of the wall. What happens. So one, two, three, nine six, nine eight. <laughs> That was yeah. That was a resell. Oh, it's a newsstand. That's right. Yeah, a newsstand. And white pages. That's worth uh, fifty, six. Got bucks everything now. going for it. <laughs> it's got better color too than this one. This size six is gorgeous. So. And remember, they're for sale. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that website called? I can't quite read that again. And then. 
technically, this gets into the whole cameo first yeah. full yeah, appearance. I'm pretty sure he's in the last panel on this. This, this is the Hulk 180 of Taskmaster, so this is his cameo appearance. And you have newsstand and direct for both. Oh yeah, look at that. You know what's weird that I've been noticing though on these? The newsstands are darker. Hmm. Every single one so far, they've been a little bit darker color. Hmm. Avengers 195, 96 hmm. on this one. Nine Was that four. one? Let's yeah. See. Let's see. I might have mixed them up, but a 94 and 96. Say. The spectacles say. This is sharp. I think this is the 9.6 copy. I think you're right, because I think I see two spine ticks. Yeah, this one's pretty darn flawless. Yeah, not nine color six. breaking, but it's got a little bit of an indentation there. Oh, yeah, I see a small indentation right now. Yeah, that wasn't there before, but who cares? Okay, so, and survey says, boom! 9.6 and a 9.6. Nice. I guess that little ding doesn't matter at the end of the day. Uh, well, it's not a color breaking. It's really not even ding. Yeah. There's a little one there and a little tiny yeah, one there. Yeah, a little crimpage. Yeah. It could even happen during printing. I had something different with this submission. I noticed a number of books coming back when I had photographed them had like little indents along the spine that I know weren't there because I would have gotten them out before I submitted them. So I double boarded every book when I submitted it, but I put the boards in back to back. Mm -hmm. Because boards tend to have a natural curve to Bowling them. Radio, and I yeah. thought maybe that little bit of bowing over time, the impact would cause that little dense to like appear. Sitting shelf for six months. Yeah, and it cycled <laughs> through the heat, you know, from the cold to the warm weather. So I decided to put the boards back to back to kind of level out that, make it a little thicker too. So. Nothing's come up yet lower than a 9.2, I think, right? Mm. What do you guys think? Were there all 9.6s in there? I think there was all 9.6s and 9.8. I have to go back and look. Ah, it's the drunk on grades here. I mean, they're all white pages. I know that. This is the aforementioned Amazing Spider-Man 252. Yep. This there is, you, go. you know, a cool homage cover to Amazing Fantasy. It's, uh, new, another newsstand edition. Mm -hmm. Pretty slick. The poor man's A of 15, which isn't so poor anymore since these are going for over $2,000 and 9.8, which is crazy. So I'm calling this a 9.6. I think it's a 9.8. I wish... No. <laughs> you don't think? <laughs> that music. <laughs> and it's a 9.6. It's a nice 9.6. Yeah. I know it wouldn't make a 9.8 because there is a little ding on the front cover right there. I see it, but... Right there. Oh, yes. It's tiny. It's maybe an eighth of an inch, and it's not color breaking. It's extremely tiny. Really nice. Nice, nice. Well, this is a historically tough book. There you go. And it isn't just because it's dark. Because people are like, oh, it's a dark cover. It's a tough book. Daredevil, 168. But I don't know how many of these we've owned. 20? Yeah. <laughs> That's been quite <laughs> a few. It, uh, it, it's, it's just, I don't know what it is that, that this year, or th this month in particular, mm -hmm. the pages are flimsy. If you own this book raw, leap through it. It's a very flimsy book. There's a couple of... Uh, I guess manufacturing flaws with this book. One is they tend to get that that printer's smudge. There's a black yeah. streak usually right across the lecture in this little white yeah, area. It don't happen on either but but also when they cut the pages, they don't quite line up. And usually you can see this cover right here, yeah. the upper left corner there. You can see the back cover reveal a little bit. They're not quite cut the same dimension, so there's that little bit of overhang. Um, they don't take off of that, of course. But they're both nice. They usually look a little off. This one has just the slightest imperfections. I'm calling this one a nine four. Uh, that one a 9.6. That one's just immaculate. One little spot there, that's it. Yep. So I think we've got a 9. Not, actually, I call this one a 9.0. Oh, that one's a 9.6. And... 9.4 and a 9.6. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. So I think the lowest we got is a nine 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 four. That Lego car was awesome. <laughs> what is the Lego one? Oh yes, this one was the a motorized, motorized one. Yeah, the motorized Lego car. Yeah, my family decided to eat instead of either. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I didn't get the motorized. We could have one. mac and cheese, or we could have a Lego car. <laughs> yeah, we could have a Lego car. Who used to eat boiling boiling bags? I think they were called. Boil in the pouch. Yeah. Oh yeah, all the time. You get what ten so for a dollar. How bad were those for you? Because you stuck plastic, which was like. Like, it was basically the same plastic used for comic bags. It's like polyethylene. And you ah. boil something yeah, in you, it. You have plastic. Cut it open and then block under your plate. You, you, got, you got plastic parts in your body, like joints and such, and artificial hearts. They're fine. Much better red on that one. So that one, I think, is the CPR book. 
Um, again, if you go back a couple of videos, our last modern submission oh, a few months ago. Oh, this was the 8.5. That was an 8.5. I, I, I saw there's the book no and I way. thought, there's no yeah. way that book is an 8.5. There were some bends that either I missed or they got introduced during the, the process. But um, two copies of Thor 337. This is a 9.6 all day. And this one, I think I called a 9.0. That one I called a 9. Oh, that was the CGC 8.5. So anything to get on that book um, is, is a gift. Boy, it's gorgeous. Though this could have been that copy, I'm not sure which one's which. So I don't know. Nine O and a CGC eight five. One two three. Four nine four. So that's not a bad jump. So I pressed the daylights out of that book. <laughs> I just went back and, and you know fixed it up right. Look at the colors though. Look at the color differences. So weird. Yeah, that's kind of an orange. This is more mm. red. Um, so yeah, eight eight five to a nine four is a, is a great weird. cover. Is that a two or two and a half point bump? It's hard to do math when you get to those decimal places. One, two, four, three, three, three grades. No, that's, uh, that would be eight. I don't two, care about the points. I care about how many nine, grades you jumped. A nine to a nine four is two. So that's one and a half point jump. Yes, yeah, so if you count the half steps, there's three, three half steps. I there's one and steps. a half. I count the whole. <laughs> yeah, I just count the steps. Whoa. Gorgeous book. They're for sale. That one clearly is uh, got a lot of room to move. Oh yeah, this was another one I picked up. So that Avengers 196, I also found this at a local shop. Um, this always bothered me because Wolverine's arm is colored yellow. <laughs> so they screwed you, up his you, costume. You lie awake at night thinking about that. Oh, no, we were a little kid. Yeah, you're looking at it. Uh, what the hell? Last week, you're obsessing about it. Who, who gets it? Who? Oh, look at all the lucky kids in the back that can make oh. money and prizes by selling little packs of seeds. Um, I'm sure most of them are, are homeless and destitute now because... Hey, you know, uh, that, that law passed, so does that mean 420 doesn't mean anything anymore? No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you two can make five cents per package of seeds. You can make a 40 cent per me, week. I, I never realized this before. This is an homage cover to yeah. number one. So this is the next hot book. So X-Men number one has gone ballistic price-wise. Uh, you can't afford that. Jump on this Jump book. on this one. I got a low, low price in this book. Jump on 4, it like 000, a live grenade. $4,000. <laughs> so I'm thinking this was a CG, or this was a 9.0. 9.2. One, two, two. And it's a, ooh, it's a 9.4. I think my little board trick worked by putting extra back boards in there. You haven't gotten below a 9.4 yet. That's what I'm thinking. This is a fantastic submission. Juicy, juicy. Just juice dripping out not, of the box. Not, not, not the, um, not the succulent, succulent yeah. There's no know. DC books in here. Uh, I don't think there is. And there is there is a man bat coming up in, the, in a future submission. Oh, though. I saw that too. That's a really nice yeah, you, Actually, bat. yeah, you saw that book. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I have some very interesting books that are, are going in that are going to come back. I think it's our first magazines, right? In, in graphic novels? Oh, yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, we got a couple of magazines and graphic novels we're sending in. And uh, we've never done those before, so that'll be fun. One of them is the New Mutants uh, graphic novel 4, and it's got fingerprints on it. Actually, uh, well, a friend of mine was looking at some graphic novels, and he picked up the X-Men, God Loves, Man Kills, and yeah. he goes, what the heck is this? And I said, it's a graphic novel, and he goes, what? I've never seen this before. I'm like, well, Holly been collecting comics. You've yeah. never seen that X-Men graphic novel before. They were so weird. I remember when they first showed up in the They were shots. strange. You're like... I forget that there was a time where, you know, they were pretty big and then they yeah. got, you know, quiet again. Yeah. Now they're, they're more just, popular, but. Because they weren't, they weren't quite a treasury. Mm -hmm. So you're like, is that a treasury? Like, no, these are new stories. I'm just yeah. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why are they so big? <laughs> okay. More another Lego pair, goodness. Another pair of She-Hulks. I think this is the last two that I've got in this box. I'm this is what you're calling a 9-4, but. Yeah, I call both of these 9-4s. Now, these didn't have the little printers. No, they don't have the printer. The printer's here. Yeah. They're a little bit nicer. So the last two, I think, was a 9.0 and a 9.2. But we got 9.6s on both of those, yeah. or the 9.4s, I forget. I see one flaw on this There's spine. so many high grades here, I forget what we've got. This is at least a 9.4. So I this, is, this is a pretty sharp This might be a 9.6. So I call this a 9.4. That called that one a 9.4. We have two, a... 9.96. Nine, six, six, six. Okay. You know what? I've realized? Uh, these grades have all been higher... Or the same as what I've just, you know, called them at. So, no, no, no. Uh, well, people can read into that. Disappointing. And CGC is expanding, and they got their graders. The grains got loose. Well, they're not as well trained. They'll say whatever. The other thing is, is 
we always we're just we that both, damn good. No, we both grew up grading using the Overstreet guy, which yeah. is I think much harder. Yeah, much harsher a grade than and, you know. And you, you pay for these books, and um, you want to be a little conservative. I don't want to be too overzealous yeah. in the no, guesstimates. <laughs> yeah. So you know, like any of those nine fours, those are nine eights at a yeah. show. Yeah, oh, you disappointed. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had one of these in a while, so this is the first Gambit. Terrace um, go nuke. <laughs> oh, that was the old. That was the old Contra. Mon <laughs> yeah, Master Military. What mines. was the video game? Uh, there's a couple. Super, super. I don't know. The Konami Super Super Anthony, you probably uh, own this, right? Anthony's probably playing this right now. It's, 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 yeah, yeah. it's like, hey, I'm playing that game. <laughs> I had that game too. I remember the ad. Yeah. Konami. Yep. All right. So, first appearance of Gambit. Uh, I think that was. So what do you 96. think? It's just. Getting Gambit to me is one of those like a Moon Knight character, where I I've never understood the in, in, the excitement around the character. At the time, it was a novel character. I guess. Know, he was but I mean, it's this thing. People still love this character. He had one of the first trench coat, you know, next to the question. Yeah. yeah. He had one of the first, you know, cool modern Keanu Reeves looks, but uh, different, you know, from his powers and, and design. So yeah. there was an appeal there. I don't know. I never liked him, and I've never been a big Moon Knight fan. Yeah. But those people pay crazy money for this book now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gone up quite a lot. So, so uh, nine, 9 six. six. You yep. got a shot at nine eight here. Should we use the single uh, magic? I know there's not a nine eight because there's a little small tear in the top back cover. So there's a little tear up here somewhere. They missed it. Uh, okay, they missed that. If it was your book, it would be it would be a ten. So it's not gonna be what that. Nine six. Oh, yeah, they nine found six. it. Yeah, they found it. Son of a bitch. It's a tear. It's like a. 30 seconds of an inch. Yep. I don't even know if I call it's it a tear. tear. That happened on printing. Anyway, it's a beautiful book. White pages. Beautiful book. And this one. Phew. Yeah. X-Men 129. Did we ever figure out why there's a slash in there? Uh, yeah, those were still, those books, somebody just talked about this recently. I know, they're um, newsstand. They, they were, they were basically, they were books that were direct editions, but they had taken some of the newsstand editions mm -hmm. and put the slash through it before they came up with a new logo, which I think, you know, Nick, I think Nick talked about this recently. Mm -hmm. So they were still transitioning from, you know, newsstand copies to direct and they had these, so they had to fashion something like a Spider-Man head six? or Captain America head. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I call it a nine six. If it's a 9.8, you can buy a car with that book. It's but, pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a 9.6. Survey says? 9.6. I thought maybe I had a shot. They're all white pages so far. Oh, so close. Okay, and now we're getting into books that I never thought I would pick up. But yeah. I can't not pass up on some of You know of what's these. weird about Star Wars? And these are Star Wars books coming up here. It's almost like... Our people's brains were frozen. Like these are the first appearances in yeah. comics of all these people major were looking characters. for. Like you know, the, the Clone Wars twenty three, the first Ahsoka yeah. Tano, and then you realized, you know, Star Wars number one and two were the early yeah. appearances, first appearances of Luke and Leia and Chewbacca and Han, and they go, oh yeah, that's right. The highlight though, this book is the yeah. awesome <laughs> Jack Davis art on the back. Yeah, getting some basketball. Is that, that Doctor J and uh, Rick Barry? Rick Barry yeah. and Julius yeah. Swish. I had a Doctor J basketball growing up. It was signed by Dr. J. I kept tracing over and over and over the marker so it wouldn't fade. It's got a rubber cover so you can really grip it. Yes. Nice. What, what other options did you have? Hi-yo! Did you have like a, you know, friggin', uh, what did you have, a goat skin or something? <laughs> Basketball, what are your choices? 1977. Then? This is a stone cold beautiful book. Yeah. Again, pulled it out of a local comic shop along with that Avengers 196. I'm thinking it was a 9.4. I think you're right. Yeah. And, oh, the 9.6. <laughs> I saw a little six peeking out there. Number two. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, when I, Star Wars came out, I got number four, I think, in one of those triple packs you get in the supermarket, and then I got the uh, the oversized uh, Treasury. Yeah, that's the one I I, I actually bought the Treasury. Um, mm -hmm. I was in a Kmart. And I think Treasury had one through four or one through so three. So there was actually three Treasury editions. I got them right over there. The first one was one through three. The second one was... Four, five, and six. Then there was a third one that printed all six issues together. Mm. So um, that's that was why I, I bought four yeah. because I had the treasure at one through three. So when you're a little kid, 
you don't you're not thinking it's number four. you just want the story yeah so i actually i saw that i bought the treasury for one through three i bought the individual issues for four orca. five and six Did you see orca no, I did. I saw, oh, I saw it. I saw work at the drive. But was awesome. the first movie that I saw in the theater was Star Wars. But I had read the comic before the movie came out, so of course I I talked through the whole movie. It's kind of a whole movie cover. Oh yeah, so Jim Shooter has great stories about this Star Wars comic. Mm -hmm. If you ever see Jim Shooter asking about Star Wars, there's all these different stories Save he talks Marvel. about. They did not have any artwork or any kind of photography to work from, so they kind of had to work from descriptions. So when they designed the characters, they didn't really know what they're going to look like in the movies. Um, this is before the movie was released. The greatest space fantasy film. Of so there was all. there was a little bit of, of, of artistic, a little bit of you know artistic exposition on the different character designs that they had. So if if Luke is a little buff looking and and Vader's kind of a little quirky, Luke looks like a robotic. Like, on, on number four here, so he's like a forty year old guy. <laughs> yeah, to me this is kind of that uh, Galactus look on uh, number forty on Fantastic Four. You got that you know black cover Galactus with his fingers coming out over the Fantastic mm. Four. Um, it's got it's a very of, much a co stylized comic thing. Yeah, it's But when you're a little kid and you see this in the story, you think, oh my god, Darth Vader's gigantic. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's no. It's a giant floating no, head. It's, it's the a, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> what do you think? 9-6? Uh, I called it a 9-6. Boom! It's a 9-6. Wow. Two 9-6s. Boom! Look at that, Mike. You're, gonna, you're not going to be eating boiling bags tonight. <laughs> no boil on the pouch. They were 10 cents a piece. They are on sale for 10 for a buck. Mm -hmm. I recall back when they came out with those things on sale. The, I remember it was, they called it Salisbury steak. I don't know what was in the pouch, but it was yeah. like a gray, gray. Meat the, product. Yeah, it wasn't even brown. Yeah. It was like a grayish brown. And I think it had what used to be peas in there with it. Nah, mine just had like... You just, you, I just remember the slough off noise it would make. The ones I bought had just meat juice in there. I didn't have any kind of <laughs> vegetables. Juice. There was no vegetables anywhere meat near those juice. things. Number uh, nine. Star Wars, Star Wars number nine. This one crushed this me. This freaking rabbit scared the crap out of me. This one crushed kid. me because when I was buying Star Wars, so the, 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 the comics came out, the movie came out a few months later, um, I saw the movie, and I was still buying these issues, and I'm like, why are there issues of comics, but the yeah. movie stopped? I what the hell's going on here? Yeah. But I bought up to number nine, and I saw this comic, and I thought, why is this going off in the left field? And, and the story was weird. I don't recall much about it, but the, the green rabbit threw me, and I said, this is it. I'm not going to buy any more of these. And then Empire Strikes Back, Empire Strikes Back came out, which did I didn't they, buy did those. They, did they interrupt the storyline? Because I, I didn't read that far. So they went off on several other story topics until issue number 39, which was when they resumed the Empire Strikes Back. Okay. So between issue number 7 through 38... Bo Boba Fett was 42. 42. Right? That was Empire Strikes Back. So, yeah, they had a good 30-issue run of various other story arcs and such. But I didn't buy any of those. I stopped at number 9. Doom! 9-6. And I called it a 9-6. Three 9-6s. Was he right? Can you keep it going? What do we got here? Uh-oh. This is a mod this is the only modern one in the book. Or in the box. Yep. So I got to thank the, the local comic shop for giving me this book. Um, this was basically free. Uh, well, I did some work. I did some great uh, back cover. cleaning and pressing work, but I got a copy of this for free. But this is the first, actually, this is the second print of the first appearance of um, what's in the, I got to look at this because I don't know my modern lore. This is the first appearance of uh, Kanan Jarrus. I can't recall the last name, but so this is Kanan's first appearance, basically. Of course, the name is Kanan, the last Padawan. Mm -hmm. What makes this book collectible is it's the second print, which back in the day, second, third, fourth prints meant the book was worth less. But everyone now goes crazy over these limited print runs, so this was lower print run than number the first uh, print run that this is per issue perfect, had. Perfect copy. And uh, as a result, this one is worth more than the other print, the first printing. So you're calling it a 9-4. Backwards logic to me. Yeah, this spine was a little wonky. There was a little, little flaking here and there in the spine. 9-4. Ooh, that's a 9-8. Not bad. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to want a bag. Not Don't sad. watch this video. <laughs> I'll just edit it out. And it's another one of these things that does not belong here. Um, another modern it's book. The, uh, 1988. Electric Company. Which one of these things? This is things not like the here? other... Mm -hmm. What a and, mean little song that is. How many kids do you think got saying that in school? Man, this, this, this book is... Oh, wait, I see one spine tick. Uh, I think it got a little kink in, in shipping because that wasn't, kink. wasn't there. Yeah, there's one little spine tick right there. 
Um, that one I kind of sweat over trying to make it look flawless. Neil's busting out of that jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. So uh, I think the claim to fame on this one is... When yeah, but dare but do me. Look at that bag. <laughs> Fred Flintstone. So that brings us to a different topic. You know, people that are obsessed over some of these cartoon female characters. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, there's this abnormal connection to... Uh, uh, the drawn females. This, I think, the claim to fame for this issue here is the first time the Turtles actually had their colored bandanas. Oh. Um, issue two when they first wore sandals. Issue three when they first wore baseball hats. But no, this is the one where they actually had the first colored bandanas, which makes it valuable and collectible. I never quite got that. I just thought it was a cool book. I bought this back in the day off the rack. So this is not my copy. This though. is the Archie. This is when it was printed by yeah. Archie. Yeah. So I bought Turtles off the rack from Mirage Studios from day one. When they changed over to Archie, I lost track, but I did find this and uh, continued buying this for probably another 30, 40 issues. This is another copy that I picked up recently, though. This Great book. dark, dark colors. Nine six. I think it's a nine six. I'm hoping for a nine eight. Oh, it was a nine six. But nice. Nine six. That's the last book. And I think that was a that was a perfect 300. I mean, oh, as far gosh. as nothing was lower than I, I expected. No, um, there was quite a few that were higher. Uh, I want to say double boarding Three, worked. Three nine six. Double boarding worked. Star and, Wars books is pretty awesome. And or the, uh, the the crushing load of books they have right now in CGC, they just kind of blew through the grades and didn't really care. One of the two. But uh, overall, that's it's pretty. I think darn they're good. at 81 two days right now. For a value tier? For for a value tier, yeah, and it's up to 80, 81 days. So that is a pain in the butt, but if you just, well, if you have more than one submission, mm -hmm. you put them in, just put them in, don't wait, just put them in. Yeah, I keep don't understand that. it when I hear people, oh, it's so long, I'm just going to wait. I'm like, what are you waiting yeah. for? It's first in line for, you know, first yeah. in time. Yeah, so, now, now that things are kind of quieting down yeah. and I'm not like bombarded with opportunities to pick up new collections oh, of books. When are you going to a show? Uh, uh, well, I was going to say relative two weeks from now, but I'll be going to the uh, the, the, the little giant show in New Hampshire. In, so if you're uh, going, in, find Mike yeah, and say I'll hello. There. I'm at all the shows. Yeah. I was going to swing over to North Car or South Carolina for a day to stop at the South Carolina Comic Con, mm -hmm. uh, which is the weekend before, but I think I might just kind of slow it down a little bit and only do 20 shows this year and, and not 40. We got some <laughs> sad news uh, this week. Oh. Heroes Con. Yeah. Shut down. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Yeah. So, so Sheldon said he's going to wait until 2022. Yeah. They're honoring all the tickets and all that, which is fine, I yeah. guess. But it's just a shame. You know, yeah. I was looking forward to it this year and trying to get a, a mass meetup of everyone on YouTube together. Mm -hmm. um, be kind of fun. Yeah. Look everyone at everyone that's gone through this highly forgettable crappy year <laughs> well you know what that was last year it was but i i, I there's still parts of the land of the whole thing there's that I ghosts kind of, i read so much like you can't see my spinner racks behind the, the tripod here mm -hmm. but it's full of trades and, and yeah. that's I, I read all all year round because you couldn't go to the movie theater until recently yeah the ghost of 2020 yeah yeah so um remember go to mike's site there's the it's, an, it's right here. To go. It's over there. No, yeah. It's going to be right here. And, uh, it's spinning around. He has frequent uh, sales. He has tons of stuff on there. It's divided up by Marvel. It's divided by DC. It's great pictures. Thank you, Todd Holbeck, for single-handedly supporting my website. You bought <laughs> probably the majority of books at a massive a beer. discount. <laughs> yeah. but a massive discount. No one else is taking advantage of that. Todd but... should get a free case of beer <laughs> with every $100 purchase. That'd be a lot of beer. He had yeah. a couple of kegs of beer <laughs> at this point. <laughs> So if you find it, go on there. Um, well, you know Mike's books are clean. Actually, I think at this point, um, our time today, I'm probably about three or four days away. I'll be dropping my first real video on my channel. Oh, yeah. So again, I've been so busy with other books and other comics. I haven't got caught up in that, but I have several episodes already recorded. I have to edit them, but um, I'll see uh, probably the first one to come up this week. Um, in three days, my time. It should be out there by the time you guys see this, but go over to the collective um, we'll put a link down below, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to put some different content over there. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot of, uh, I'm going to call it breathtaking content over there. Mm -hmm. um, stuff you guys have never seen, uh, stuff you've never seen. I've yeah. got a bunch of stuff I've been setting on for a while, and uh, it'll be a secret for right now. But I, I dare you to go over and watch one of those videos and say, oh, I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's every day. This stuff is common. No, this is this is something totally different. Mike's been uh, interviewing <laughs> uh, some longtime collectors as well. Yeah, so this is the tip of the iceberg. See some of yeah. that stuff that should be pretty fun. Just hearing how 
just the way things were back then. Yeah. It was so different before the internet. Yeah. And really, a lot of these guys, they, they used to buy before uh, stores were even around. Yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah. it's, it's I, fun I, to hear that I, stuff. I, I've come across some breathtaking Golden Age collections recently. I mean, yeah, this will make your head spin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is crazy stuff. This is nothing. This is like, you know, this is like bathroom oh. reading material. Helps you get that stuff. That, that does, it does, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's a light song. So, so that's all we got for you for now. Check out the collective, check out the Selling Comics site, and we're going to have a bunch more content because now the machine's moving again. We've got a bunch of orders and submissions in, in the pipeline. So, yeah. Until next time, love what you have, not what you want. And make sure you pack well. Yeah. The, <laughs> in the put. Look at the results. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everybody. We'll see you. Bye.